In this video, we are going to discuss about derivation of effect to diameter using two wire method. In previous video, we will seen how to use floating carriage micrometer to measure diameters of thread workpiece. In case of two wire method, to measure parameters, we are going to use two wires of same diameter. When we take measurement over the wire on floating carriage micrometer, I will consider capital M as diameter over the wire. If we subtract these two wires diameter, that is two times diameter from this diameter, then that diameter is the diameter under the wire considered as capital T. An effective diameter is nothing but this particular diameter indicated as capital E. An effective diameter is equal to T plus C, where C is the constant which depends on angle between thread and pitch. To obtain expression for effective diameter, I will join center point of wire with the points MN. From triangle OFN, if you observe cosec x by 2, that is hypotenuse side OF by opposite side ON. Here ON is the half of diameter of wire, that is equal to D by 2, which is our equation number 1. And then we have taken distance FW, which is equal to distance OF minus distance OW. Here I will put OF from equation 1, and it becomes FW is equal to D by 2 cosec x by 2 minus 1. This is our second equation. And again, if you take triangle FRQ, where cot x by 2, I am going to take which is adjacent side upon opposite side, that is FQ by QR. Therefore, FQ is equal to QR cot x by 2. Here, pitch of thread, that is distance from peak of one thread to the corresponding peak or next thread, and distance SR is P by 2. And if I consider this QR distance, it will be equal to distance p by 4. Therefore, our expression will be fq is equal to p by 4 quad x by 2. So, this is our equation number 3. In dimension qw, which is equal to fq minus fw, here we have fq from equation number 3 and fw, we got it from equation number 2. So, this equation for constant c that we are going to use to calculate effect to diameter. Now, for metric thread, we know the angle of thread that is x which is equal to 60 degree. When we substitute angle, this we get constant c is equal to 0.866p minus d, where p is the pitch of thread and d is the diameter of wire. 